Welcome back to Season 3 Love Island, The Reunion Boat Party. We are on Day 8. Bananarama, or Bananarama. <laughs> the group rents a banana boat, but does it bring out their competitive side too much? I feel like this is going to be fun. I feel like this would be an extra fun episode if we were with AJ, who kind of reminds me of how Ty used to be. Those two were super fun. Ty and AJ, super spunky and sporty, and that's why I picked Ty. I didn't like AJ at first, but now I kind of like AJ. It's funny that that happened. Yeah, I'm, if you guys watched the last episode, you know I'm kind of a little bit butthurt about how things are going. I miss the old Ty, and I, and whoever you're partnered with right now, I, and you're, you want to be happy with them, I'm assuming that you miss the old them too. The writers are frustrating me this time, and also the behavior is frustrating me. Just because the, the, the way that they're behaving is so far out of my comfort zone that I'm not having fun anymore, but I want to finish it, you know, it's almost day 10. Oh my god, that's it. There's only one more week after this. Day 10. Holy cow. Side note, I still have not found another game that I like really want to play, and I know everybody plays the choices games right now. But I think after Love Island, I'm going to take a break from this kind of game and really kick it into gear with my Sims 4 stuff because I've got a lot planned and it's going to take a lot of work to edit those. So I might just only play Love Island for now and see what happens. And I know I said that I was going to be doing my World of Warcraft videos, but those I'm also going to kind of put on the back burner for now just because they want number one, they have delayed the release of Shadowlands, which is actually helpful to me. But um, I just don't think I have enough energy to put into all of them at once. And you know, we found out that Dragon Age 4 is in the works probably going to be released sometime next year. I'm hoping and so I'm contemplating replaying Dragon Age all the all of the Dragon Age games. I'll talk about more of this at the end because it's time to start the thing. Sorry for rambling. This is it, the moment you've all been waiting for. Despite my previous resistance, Seb's going to give his opinion on bananas. Mid-tier fruit, 6 out of 10. Well, that was worth the wait. Hey Seb, what happens when you turn a banana into a boat? You sink. Bananas can't be boats. And yet, here we are, we're just waiting for our banana boat to inflate, and then we're gonna have some fun. You wake in the morning after a restless night of tossing and turning. Grit sticks heavily to your eyes. I slept so badly. I couldn't stop thinking about yesterday's date. It felt so awkward suddenly, what was Ty thinking? You hear the others already on deck. It sounds like it's almost time for the banana boat. I slept in. Okay, first things first, I can't wear my PJs in the sea. Let's find something that won't get ruined by the water. And that will impress Ty. Okay, ooh! So they have this thing going on right now with this uh, brand that I can't read through my screen right now for some reason because I'm blind. Uh, but yeah, swimsuits you can actually buy. Uh, I figured that's, that's kind of interesting. I'm not going to click on it right now and I'm pretty sure they're probably expensive. So I'm not that interested, but this is cute. I like that. That's adorable. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the blue one. That's my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the blue one. You twirl in the mirror. Perfection. All aboard the SS SS Marinara Sauce Banana Edition. Got a great ring to it. Elodine looks at you. Ah, not so fast, Josephine. We all need one of these. She hands you a life jacket with an odd bloated fish logo. Once you clip it on, she moves out of your way. Are you telling me I wasted gems on a bikini just to cover it up? You climb aboard the banana boat and the others follow. Ahead, the speedboat towing you revs up. We're going to have our ride and then head to the beach. I tell you what, let's make this interesting. Let's award a prize to whoever stays on the longest. I'm listening. The prize can be... Hmm, what should it be? What should the prize for staying on the banana boat be? A cake! <laughs> Again, a cake. Me and cake. Love cake. I've seen a gorgeous chocolate cake in the fridge. The person who wins should have that. We can get another one from somewhere. Whoa, I'm in. You all climb aboard. You're on the seat behind Ty. He glances over his shoulder to look at you. Hey, Ty looks a bit awkward. 
Smile at him, I guess. Ty smiles back at you but looks away quickly. Iona gets up on the seat behind you. Woo, I'm gonna win the cake. No way, the cake is mine. Once everybody's ready, the speedboat revs its engine and starts to move. Sierra yelps as the boat turns a sharp bend and he slides into the sea. Later, alligators. He floats along happily on his back. I'm not so into this. Aw, don't be like that, babes. Yeah, I'm not really in the mood. She lets go of her rail and jumps into the water. She bobs up straight away, paddling. Yasmin's in the sea. The water looks gorgeous, but uh... I, d I, I don't want to bother her. I don't want to... Like, she, she had already seemed upset in that last episode when we were out to eat. I don't want to be nosy with her. Um, take care down there. Yasmin pushes her hair back from her face with a shrug. I feel bad. I don't understand. I'm fine. She swims over to a nearby buoy to rest. The banana boat curves onwards at top speed. Ah! Iona turns around, laughs, and pushes him off his seat. That's cheating! Got you! Harry splashes into the water. You hear a shriek. You look and see that Iona has unbalanced herself. That's what you get. Ah! She grabs you as she starts to slide. Uh, excuse you? Your grip slips. But then Iona lets go and falls into the sea, flailing. Joe Sabrina, you okay? Ty reaches down and you grab his hand. He hauls you back into your seat. Ty saved me. You're my hero. That was sweet. Ty smiles at you with a nod. He just wants me to get the cake because he knows I like cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I didn't want you to fall off. The banana boat jolts again as you speed ahead. As Nikki starts to slide, he grabs Seb. I can't stop. Seb flails at the boat and catches a hold of Elodine's foot. No way. I can't believe you'd do that. The three of them tumble into the water laughing. The boat swerves suddenly and Mikey and Rafi start to fall. Oh no! Woohoo! Rafi laughs as they both tumble into the water. Rafi fell off. Do a wiggle dance. <laughs> you shimmy your hips against the banana boat's seat. Rafi gives you a thumbs up. It's lovely and cool down here, you should join us. No way! I gotta get the cake. The boat slows suddenly with a jolt. Camillo yelps and slips into the sea. It's freezing! It's warm, babes! At the same time, while she tries to keep hold of her rail, Lily falls. Hey, at least I get a swim now. There's a sharp swerve. The boat throws you off balance. Bah! You turn around to see Genevieve hanging off the side of the boat. Help! I should definitely help Genevieve stay on. Should I? Should I? But if I do, I could end up in the sea. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my balance. I'm not gonna push her off, but I'm gonna keep my balance. Sorry, babes. I've got my eyes on the prize. It's okay, I get it. Win the cake for me. Genevieve lets go and slides dramatically into the water. You tighten your grip on your seat and crouch to focus on your balance. The boat swerves again. Bill, who kept his grip tight the whole time, misjudges his balance and slips off his seat. After keeping on determinedly the whole time, AJ slides off her seat. Finally, it's only you and Ty left on the boat. Go, Josephine! This is my chance. If I push Ty, I'll win. No, we gotta win fairly, come on. What should I do? I'm gonna stay on as long as I can. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cheat. I can't do that to him. You keep your grip tight on your seat. Then, as the boat swings to the side once more, you find yourself falling into the water. So now we have to lose because I was trying to be nice? Ah, Ty's the winner. Everyone gathers round in the water. I'm the banana boat king! Okay guys, let's get back on the banana and head over to the beach. Nice and slow this time. The others start to climb aboard the banana boat again and Ty swims over to you. He hesitates. I was wondering if you wanted to... Then he speaks all in a rush. Do you want to swim back to the beach together? Instead of taking the boat back? I thought it'd be nice to do together. I could show you my stroke technique. A swim with Ty could be good. I haven't had any time alone with him since the date. We could properly chat, and maybe it would be more chill. Shall I go for a swim with Ty? Yeah, let's see if we can get some, finally, some, like, talking over with. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a swim. I'd really like that. Hey, are you two okay down there? We're having a quick swim together. See you at the beach. Okay, have a good time. Elodine waves to you, and the banana boat starts to move away. You and Ty swim, bobbing along in the gentle waves. The breeze on your sun-kissed skin feels cool and refreshing. Ty splashes alongside you. He sighs as he turns over onto his back. This is lovely. 
It sometimes feels strange to be away from it all, but it makes a nice change today. Ty's enjoying the quiet time. I know what you mean. It can be tiring having so much going on. He bobs upright once more and splashes you lightly. Come on, let's get moving. His smile feels a little bit forced. I get the feeling his heart isn't quite in this. What shall I say to him? Are you okay? Ty sighs. Of course I am. Getting to hang out in the water with you, it's what I wanted. He sighs. I honestly care about you and I just want to spend time with you. It's just... What's been happening is exciting, don't get me wrong, but we don't know how things are going to be between us at the end of the trip. It feels strange, you know? Ty's feeling uncertain. Um... I guess I feel like that too? I don't... I don't even know what to say. You're not alone at all. Ty smiles at you and pats your arm. That does make me feel better about it. He meets your gaze. His eyes are very bright. Can I give you a hug? Shall we hug? Cuddle gently? You approach slowly and draw him close. We are in the water right now. In the ocean, at that. So, it's probably waves. This is probably not really safe. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> you try to wrap your arms around each other, but the life jackets keep bouncing you off. <laughs> you reach out and grab Ty's hands instead, pulling him slowly towards you. I think this is as much of a hug as we'll manage in these. It's nice though. Really nice. He strokes your wet hair, his hand resting softly on your back. His breath is light and gentle. Shall I kiss him? Yeah, kiss Ty. You lift your head to kiss Ty deeply. His mouth tastes salty from the sea. He kisses you back, his hands stroking down your arms. Afterwards, the two of you remain floating in the water looking into each other's eyes for a moment. Then you glance over to the beach and see the others mucking about in the sand. We should probably head back. Together, you and Ty swim for the beach. You and Ty make your way onto the beach, removing your life jackets as you do. Genevieve comes over and hands you a towel. Here, thought you might need this. The others join you while you towel yourself down. That was so much fun. You should add a banana boat to your canal boat. Then every day would be a banana boat day. You do know how a canal boat works, right? There's no way I could get up to that speed. It'd be like that bit in Love in Space where you were attached to the outside of the spaceship with a cable. It looked like the asteroids would squash you. Rafi laughs. That bit took forever to film. We were actually underwater. Mikey shudders. I could hardly watch that part. So tense. Mikey got scared during a Love in Space episode. That sounds funny. What I'm wondering is, how do you go to the loo in your spacesuit? Joseph Raid, I'm never watching a scary film with you, that's for sure. You need to give Captain Icarus more credit. It takes more than some space rocks to scare him. Remember how he squeezed through that mine shaft by taking off his shirt? Right, Yasmin? Hmm? Yasmin finishes drying her hair. She looks tired and a little unfocused. It's the iconic moment of the show. Remember? I have to do this. My crew is my home now. Yeah, maybe. I thought you mentioned watching it. Did I? I'm sorry, lovely. Wow, you didn't want to see what one of your friends was up to? I don't mind, it's not everyone's thing. Yasmin didn't watch Rafi's show. I would want to tell Iona to back off because clearly she is not catching the vibes from Yasmin at the moment. So, uh, but I feel like the game might say something that, like if, she, if I say she had other priorities, um, that might sound like I'm saying something else that I don't mean. So you know what? Back off, Iona. She obviously doesn't want to watch it, so why are you making her? That's not what I wanted to say. She's been touring in all sorts. Exactly. Surely you've got time to watch a bit of telly. Yasmin shakes her head. I don't have time, okay? Her voice rises. The others come over to see what's going on. My game is having a stroke. No! No! Why? I guess I have to start over. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna close out of it. It's not just TV. It's keeping up with stuff. Like, remember how Lily shaved her head? Now you're messing with me. She's got hair, Iona. Oh my days, we talked about it the other day. Well, I've got a lot going on. You've got such an exciting life that you don't need to worry about what us lot are up to? Silence. I mean, Yasmin's eyes fill with tears. I didn't mean, this is intense. Shall I stay and talk to Yasmin about how she's feeling? Yeah, I did try to talk to her at least, see if she wants to talk. First things first, let's all sit down. We can't have a proper chat if our legs are tired. You all sit on the sand. Yasmin wipes her eyes as everyone gathers around her. I didn't want to give her a freaking intervention. 
I thought we would be able to just like be like, hey, Yasmin, do you want to talk? Are you okay? And then go back to the group. This is, mm -mm. mate, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. Yasmin shakes her head. It's not your fault. It's just, this has been the first time in ages that I haven't been busy. And I love being on holiday with all of you. It's amazing. But I've been working so hard, I've forgotten how it felt to relax. Yasmin's found it hard to relax. I feel like that sometimes too. You do? You can't just switch off? Yeah, with music, there's always more you can do. I kind of thought I was the only one who felt like that. Not at all, mate. Traveling around so much, I sometimes get so jet lagged that I've got no idea which way's up. Yeah, it's the sleep that gets me. I want to sink into bed and not worry about anything, but then once I'm there, I start thinking. So how do you relax? How do I switch off and relax? Get rid of distractions first, yeah? I like putting my phone in the other room when I'm going to sleep. That way I don't get tempted to check it. I had to do that too. Bill kept waking up when I was having a sneaky look at it. And I realized I was taking a big chunk out of my sleep. Oh, that sounds hard though. What if I get an important text? That's part of the challenge. Yasmin takes a deep breath. I think I'll talk to my manager about taking some time off. Then I'll be in a better place to really relax. That's a great idea, hun. And I'm sorry for making you feel bad. I thought it was just Bants. It's okay, you didn't know. Okay. I thought this was going somewhere way worse. <laughs> than it was, and I'm kind of glad it didn't. Whew. On another day, I'd probably find it funny. And I'm so sorry for not remembering you shaved your head, Lily. No, it's better forgotten. It was not a great look. Yasmin gives her a wobbly smile. But seriously, I do feel better for talking about this stuff. Yasmin's feeling better. I'll suggest... Let's do a group hug! I don't know, that might be nice. <laughs> Bring it in, everybody. You give Yasmin a hug and the others pile on and join in. Aw, you guys. You spend the rest of the afternoon chilling on the beach. After dinner on the boat, you take some time to freshen up in your cabin. You hear a knock on the door. Knock, knock. You don't need to say knock, knock. You just knocked. Good point. She lets herself in and flops onto the bed next to you. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I need a banana boat in my life. But still, I'm tired out. Genevieve's tired. Hard same. You yawn widely. I can't believe how much we did today. Right? She stretches out her legs. I wanted to check that you and Ty were okay. So I was wondering, how are you doing? How am I feeling? Ty doesn't like uncertainty. Oh, Seb can feel that way sometimes. And I mean, things have been up in the air a bit with you two. But you seem to be getting on really well when you went for that swim. Speaking of, Seb and I had a chat this evening about it being tough feeling like a couple when we're so far apart. Genevieve and Seb had a big talk. I hope it was okay. I was kind of nervous. But I thought, if Yasmin can open up, then so can I. We've planned some things to do when we are apart so we feel closer, like watch films together and making phone dates. And when we do see each other, we'll try and make the most of it. I wasn't expecting it to feel so good to have a proper talk about it though. Not an argument, but a talk. That's a long way of saying thank you for the chat yesterday. It made me think about things. Genevieve thinks it's good to open up. It feels good to tell it like it is. Look at you, Miss Meek Mermaid coming out of your shell. I don't think I got Meek Mermaid. I don't understand. It's a good look on you. She suddenly gasps. Oh no! What? Ty never got crowned king of the banana boat. We didn't have a crown anyway. I'll go and ask Ty if he wants to donate it to us, then we can share it. Shall we share the cake together? Uh, yes. I want the cake. I wanted to win. Let's do it. Brilliant! Genevieve whisks out the door then returns after a few minutes brandishing the cake. You cut the cake, settle in, and chat late into the night. And as I fell into the water, my life flashed before my eyes, full of cats, vinyls, and ramen. He sighs wistfully. Life well spent. Well, there you have it, listeners. The banana extravaganza is over. I wonder what's to come. I wish this holiday could last forever. We'll make the most of it, mate. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Buffet. Buffet. Catch you next time, listeners. Okay, this episode didn't bother me nearly as much as the last one, and I think it was kind of cute at the end. We're kind of having a sleepover with Genevieve. We got to share some cake. They didn't say we're having a sleepover, but it kind of felt like it, and I think it's cute. Um, I'm hoping we get to have a conversation with Ty soon, because there's only two days left. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't even know what else to say, but this has been a roller coaster. 
yeah, a roller coaster of feels and anger and rants. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week in the next episode. Bye-bye.